Hi everyone, how are you? Well, today is so special to me because it is the first of my 50 year high school reunions. What we're doing is we're doing two events. We're doing a luncheon today and then like a big nighttime party event like wedding reception type thing in June. But today is the luncheon, so some couldn't come in for both or some couldn't make one or the, you know, one of them. So we're making sure we can get as many girls in as not. Now, have I been down the rabbit hole today as far as oh my goodness, how do I look compared to some of these other girls? Yes. I graduated with 800 girls. So at this point, I don't care what they look like. I'm just excited to see how many will be there. Um, and let's, and just have a hug and let's get caught up. This is so exciting for me. So let's, so get ready with me. Here we go. I'm going to use my Saint Cream makeup in the brand new palette that, that look how pretty that is, that drops on Monday, which is April 15th. And it is going to be available to you to purchase in all the sizes that Saint has. Now, now, Saint uses three shades, three shades to create one layer of makeup. I'm 68 years old, and again, I have wrinkles, crinkles. I have rosacea. Of course, I've got a rosacea breakout going up here and over here because, you know, it is what it is. But I also have all these wrinkles, and I didn't like the way that my liquid makeup settled into my fine lines and wrinkles. So I had just stopped wearing it. It looked great at first, but then an hour later I was cakey. You could see I had the lines where everywhere I had a wrinkle, I had like a, a line there from the makeup. Enter cream into my life. I wish I had found this years ago. Well, here it is now. So let me show you. You use these three shades to create one layer of makeup. And what we're doing is we are strategically placing this makeup so that it goes where we want it to go and where we want it to stay. Now, I like to start with the contour because that kind of gets everybody of the, what is she doing? Yeah, what is she doing? Contour is wonderful. Do not be afraid of contour. It's gonna be a cool, dark shade. This may not be the shade for you. This is the shade I was custom color matched to and I would love to color match you. Now. Contour creates shadows. So what we're doing is we're creating shadows and we're lifting my face just by using different shades. So we're gonna come over here, feel for that cheekbone, start right about the outer corner of my eye and go up towards the top part of my ear. Now this is not contour here. You see I have it on both sides. That is a loss of volume from weight loss. So that's a natural shadow. We're gonna brighten that and get rid of it. Now, we're also going to come and we're going to define my jawline and make this little fatty thing they call a jowl less noticeable. Look at the difference that makes. And again, we're going right along the jawline, right on that little fatty piece. And then we're going to camouflage my turkey neck. We're going to just make a V from where the divot of the jowl is. And there you go. Look at the difference. You notice my chin, you don't notice my turkey neck. So that's what it is. We are taking and sculpting our faces like we've never been able to before. Now, I'm going to contour my nose, put a little bit on my pinky, rub it together, and watch how easy this is. Have your pinkies touch and drag them right down the top of your nose. There we go, a little bit on the tip. Why did I do that? It's going to elongate my nose and make it look just a little bit narrower than it actually is. Contour has so many uses. You can use it to fill in your brows. You can use it as eyeshadow. You can even line your lips with it. A lot of bang in the buck. If you're not using contour, you should be. Now we're going to move to the next shade, which is a brightening shade. This one looks way too dark for me. This one looks way too light. It's all a new and different way of thinking about your makeup. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap into this brightening shade and I'm going to brighten the center of my face. I'm going to use my pinky to come right down the center of that line, those two contour lines, and look at the difference. 
that that makes. Again, I now have a more elongated nose and it's just a little bit narrower, or it appears to be. It's not narrower. It appears to be narrower than it naturally is. So we're going to do the cupid's bow, brighten and brighten the center of the chin. Now, always play. Hey, Rosie, I'm so glad you're here. So what we're going to do is we're going to brighten the eyes because your eyes always play up your eyes. Your eyes are, are just such an important part of your face. When you don't want them looking at the, you know, the jowls and the wrinkles and all, play up the eyes. But my eyes need a lift. So what I'm going to do is just brighten the inner and outer corner. Notice I'm not using much product, nor am I going all the way underneath. I'm just going to do the inner corner, the outer corner, and my eyes still look droopy. I still don't look totally awake. Watch this. We're going to create a focal point, and we're just going to bring this brightening shade up into the temple. Look at the difference. This eye goes up, this eye still drooping. Well, let's give her a lift too. There we go. So simple what shading can do. And again, this is cream makeup, so it doesn't settle into all these fine lines and wrinkles. You can wear it all day, all day. Now, also, when I what I was telling you about the shadow, the darker contour creates shadows. The bright brightening shade can cancel the shadow. So what I'm going to do is just go right along that shadow in where my face has lost volume and look at that. It doesn't totally take it away, but it makes it much less noticeable. Now, if you have the deep folds in your laugh lines, use your brightener just a little bit right in those lines, and what it's gonna do is take away the shadow. The fold will still be there, but it's not going to be as noticeable. And that is the really, really cool part of using this we call three-dimensional um, makeup. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, believe me, it, it's good lighting. My hands are, my hands look like 68-year-old hands, but thank you. Um, again, lots of oil and cream, that's all I can say. That's my trick, just keep it moisturized, gals. And speaking of moisturize, this makeup also hydrates your face as you wear it, which is so cool, so you're not gonna get that chalky, dry look. Thank you, Rosie, you always make my day. Now we're gonna move to the shade that everybody thought that's the one she should be using. Yes, because this is the one that is closest to the natural skin tone. This is what we call a main highlight, and it goes on the places of your face where you don't have any other makeup. Just a dot here and there. It's really good to cancel redness. Again, like I say, I have rosacea, so yeah, redness is just a part of my life. Some days are better than others. Today, it's like, okay. Again, I'm trying not to go down the comparison thing and think, oh, look at her. Just be happy we're still here. There you go, and give me a hug. That's the attitude I'm going in with. Now, we're gonna come up here, and again, I'm going to put just a little bit more than I normally would because I am really red up there. So there we go. Now, notice how we strategically placed everything. When we blend, we're gonna strategically blend. Now today I'm using La Cienega because it's, I think it goes well with the yellow. Our school colors were, were yellow, uh, I mean, uh, gold and green. It was an all girl school, public school, but that's how it was back in 1974 in Jefferson Parish in Louisiana. <laughs> It's like there were two girls' schools and two boys' high schools. Oh, thank you. Oh, I do too. I love La Cienega. Matter of fact, this is about the only pink I will wear. I'm not a pink girl. I like corals and reds and berries, you know, deep colors. This one, though, I can live with. Learning how to say it, that was a different story. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Mimi, I'm so glad you're here. So what we're going to do, this is a lip and a cheek shade. So I have my lipstick on. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to just add some blush. Yes, you got that right. Everything you need is in this palette. Oh, okay, you went to an all-girls. It usually, in all the other parishes, pretty much in Louisiana, um, if you went to an all-girls school, it was a Catholic school. No, this was public school. And I think in maybe 78 or 79 is when they, they co-edited everything. But if you went, and that's the cool part about the second one, the, uh, the second reunion, is the guys are coming too. It's the four schools, both girls' schools and both uh, the two guys' schools. And it's kind of like um, when I went to the meeting the other night, I'm on the committee for that one. What was really cool is it's almost like a neighborhood reunion thing, too, because while the guys didn't go to school with us, they went to, you know, like uh, first grade through through eighth grade with us. So that was, yeah, it, it's going to be a hoot. I really think so. And that one's in June. Now, when you get ready for with me for that one, yeah, that's going to be a little more of a promise thing. So let's see what I come up with to wear there. This being a lunch and I would just kind of have a day dress on. But it's a dress. Yes, I am. I am in a dress. Okay. There. Mm, there we go. Everything I used on my face is in this palette. It's the palette for starter. It's wonderful. And again, it's like these are all individual shades. So this palette, you may get the palette itself. It comes empty. We fill it in with your custom shades. And how do you do that? You need a color match. And I'm going to tell you in a minute how you do that. Now, cream makeup does need to be set, and you can do it one of two ways. Saint has a great setting spray, and they have a wonderful vanilla dust setting powder. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we, we're doing casual today. Um, this is kind of a t-shirt material, but it's got like this tie on the side that kind of makes me look like I have a waist still. <laughs> So anyway, oh, thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's, it was totally different, I would think, going to school. And, and it's like, how did we date? Well, that's kind of when like the girl hangout thing, I think, started here in, in, you know, in New Orleans, because we didn't really know a lot of guys unless you grew up with them. And some of those you were like, eh, no, thank you. No, thank you. I love yellow, Rosie. I really do. It's like, if it's yellow or purple, I'm getting it. And again, Louisiana, go LSU. <laughs> Not because of that. I just love those colors. I really do. But what we're going to do is we're going to blend this makeup. Now, while I've applied it and while I've been talking to you, it has warmed to the temperature of my skin. So it's going to spread like, as they say down here, butter. B-U-D-D-A. My mother-in-law always did someone put the butter on the table? <laughs> so, one of my greatest memories of her. Now, I like to start at my jawline because if I don't, I forget. So, we're just going to come over here and I'm going to get this earring out of the way and we're going to soft circle blend all the way around. Maybe give it two little two little blends and then we're going to drag it totally down our neck. Now, we don't want to totally blend it out. Does vanilla dust setting powder cancel the shine? Yes. Um, it doesn't totally cancel it, but it helps. Um, this is a little bit too much of a shine for me as well, Danielle. Um, what I like to do is I use a different setting powder because of where I live. It's extremely hum humid and very hot down here most of the uh, most of the year. So I use this from NYX. Okay, can you see that? This is what I use. It's like a finishing powder. And the reason that I use it is because it has a little bit of cornstarch in it. And the cornstarch just helps with the humidity because the minute you walk outside, you start to sweat. I mean, it's just that humid down here. But the vanilla dust is very good, too. I wore the vanilla dust down in Cancun last week and had no issues with it. And it was hot and humid down there. Not as humid as here, but... Yeah, thanks for asking. That was a great question. So what we did is we gently blended around the jawline. 
And we drug it down the neck and you don't want to blend too much. If you blend too much, you can blend this out. Good and bad. Good that if you make a mistake, you can blend it out and add a little bit more if you want. Or bad because, um, that, you know, you blend it out, but it's good because once you get the hang of the technique, it's wonderful. It really is. So here we go. What we're going to do is do this little thing that is like a scratch press. And that's because this is cream and we are pressing it into our skin and wearing it like a second skin. If you can feel this makeup on your face, you probably have on too much. Less is more. So we're just stippling, which is gently tapping, or like I say, kind of like a chicken scratch, just a little bit, just to be sure that we're blended. And again, it has warmed to the temperature of my skin, so it is spreading almost like a moisturizer. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's good stuff. I cannot tell you how good this stuff is. Now, we're just gonna come here under the eyes. Matter of fact, I'm gonna flip my brush around and just tap and this is where you go right under the eye. I have crepe skin under there, so I don't want it settling into or anything settling in there. So that's why I didn't go all the way under my eye. So just enough is spreading. And again, look at the smoothness. So good, so good. Just so stinking good as my, my if my mother really liked it, as she was a, a country lady, but if she really liked something, she's like, it's stinking good. I mean, that's really good. <laughs> so make sure I have this all, all blended. Okay, we're gonna do this eye and the catch the focal point too. Because notice how we have the lighter shade, we have our blush, and then we have our contour. So we're leaving the shadow, we're taking away the shadow, and we're lifting all at one time. And who doesn't want to look like that? Now, the nose, again, you can blend it out. So, and notice how I didn't go all over the place like we were taught to blend. You have to totally forget what you were taught about makeup, liquid makeup, because it's all one shade. So you can just willy nilly it. We need to like keep everything in its lane, so to speak. Okay, now. I'm going to just tap up either side of my nose just to get the little bit of the main shade I put there. Then we're going to tap the nose and come up. See how you can still see the, where the, the two different shades are, and you can even use your fingers just to pat it because you don't want to blend it away, but it's not the distinct lines like I have on my forehead and my cheek. Flip this brush back around to the bunny tail, and then we just come and we're going to get the, there we go. We've got the brightening done. We're going to do the main shade. I'm not real happy with the redness, so I'm going to come back and grab just a little bit of my main shade and just put it up there. Did I bring a tissue? Yes, I did. Oh, excuse me. That's the other thing about living in Southeast Louisiana. Your allergies are always bad. Okay, so we're just chicken scratching and blending. There we go. Now we're gonna come to the contour. Contour again, we're creating a shadow. And what you want to do is go all the way up into that hairline, all the way. Because if not, see that white line? We don't want that. So go all the way up into your hairline. Now, what I love about this is due to hair loss, I have a, a high forehead. So this creates a shadow which gives the illusion that it's not as high. And that's what you're looking for. It's you only a little bit better. What more could we ask for in our 60s, our 50s, or some 40s? It just depends. When did you start to get really mature skin? I'm not talking about when you're 33 and you're like, oh, no, I got a line right there. I'm talking about real mature skin. Like, yeah, there you go. This, These cutie things here. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now that we have everything blended except the cheeks, the contour, and the, the blush, 
We're gonna come over here and we're just, I like to go up and down twice. Why? Just cause I like to do it twice, I don't know. So then we're going to grab that contour with the lip and cheek and just work it up into our hair, uh, work it up into the temple. And I'm noticing I need a little bit more of a blend right there. There you go. Now, same thing over here. We're just gonna stipple up and down and that also catches the brightening shade to cancel the shadows where my face, the loss of volume. I hate to say my face sunk in, but that's exactly what happened. Excuse me, one more minute. Oh, goodness. Okay, up and down twice and then catch that little bit of blush and just drag it up. There you go. One brush and everything that I used was in this palette. What could be simpler? Is it time to simplify your makeup and give you the glow, just a natural glow? And again, let me do my powder real quick. I use my blush and bronzer brush and see the difference? See the difference? I think it was, uh, was it Minnie or Mimi? See the difference? Yeah, just a little bit of powder can make a difference if the shine is a little bit too much for your liking. I agree. I don't, I had very oily skin as a teenager and that's what it makes me think of sometimes when I finish. I'm like, oh goodness, I look oily. Just grab a little bit of setting powder and the vanilla dust works well if you're not in a really, really humid area like I am. So how do you get started with Saint? We talked about custom color match. I would love to do that for you. If you choose me to be your artist, I would be ever so grateful and so pleased. But what I need you to do is go to your uh, window in your home that has natural light coming in. Open the curtains. Let the natural light come in. Not sunlight, just the natural light. No makeup. That's where the really yuck comes in. Yes, I need it to. I need you to have no makeup on. And I want you to pick up your phone, look directly into it, not up here or down here. Look directly into it and shoot a selfie. No makeup. Then I will match you to these three shades that would be the best for your skin tone. The lip and cheek is your choice. I'll recommend, but you can choose whatever you like that's in uh, on the website. Now, how much does all this cost? The color match is 100% free with absolutely no uh, obligation to buy a thing. It's strictly my gift from me to you. If you purchase, thank you so much. If you don't, then hey, keep hanging out with me and, and let's visit and let's be friends on when I come on here live. That's pretty much it. So what happens if you do order this and for some reason you don't like it? Saint has a no questions asked 30 day money back guarantee. Mail it back in and you get your money back. So, my question for you today is, what do you have to lose? I thank you so much for joining me today. You have blessed me with your, your presence like you always do. I look forward to getting ready because I know you're going to be here and we're just going to chat and I can answer your questions or just, you know, help you out in any way that I can with any makeup questions. You be the reason someone smiles today. Have a fabulous day. And I'll see you again next time. Bye, everybody.